Hi, Gemini Moons. Thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Femme Care 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Gemini, unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For this reading, I will be doing a six card spread using the Modern Witch Tarot deck. I'm also going to do a clarifier card at the end using the Medicine Woman Tarot deck. Now, I've already pre-shuffled both decks. I'm going to go ahead and do the first deck and give that a couple more shuffles. We'll split the deck and get started. I have a quote here from Mr. Freddie Prince Jr., who is super duper hot. <laughs> and he has his moon in Gemini. <laughs> C R U S H. Oh, yes. For many years. All right. And on that note, <laughs> and I just want to thank you all for being here and let you all know that I do appreciate you. Really enjoying your vibe here. So let's see what your first card is. We have the Page of Swords. So automatically, I'm just getting you setting your sights upon something new. But as you're moving forward, there's some things that you have to take care of in the past. This could also be a spy energy that is taking place where someone that you are connected to may be also looking towards the past. As they're moving forward with the sword energy here, swords is your energy and then Libra and Aquarius. Page energy is also a younger energy. But I am getting for most of you uh, that you're setting your sights upon something new, but there is, I'm getting like one or two, maybe a few things that need to be looked, looked upon and possibly closed. There may be some cycles that one is still closing. But I am getting that you are on this verge of something new where you're studying something new, doing some research, um, really tapping into yourself and putting your efforts towards something that you're very passionate about when it comes to a new beginning or a new start. And it's really stimulating your mind. I also feel too with this being the first card that this is just kind of speaking to the love that you have for books and the delight you take and what it is that you have. As I do feel that a lot of you do have the similar, very similar um, background here in your home or pretty much everywhere that you go. I feel that you are always surrounded by something that is going to stimulate your mind. And that can be in any of these subjects here, where I do feel there's one in particular subject that you're focused on here. And then again, also too, I'm getting someone maybe just uh, taking an eye and spying on you. That has uh, come out for the Aries and the Taurus reading for the last two readings. Um... So that may resonate for you where there's a connection there and then also you may have that energy in your chart where you could be spying on someone as well second card we have is the three of swords so maybe i feel um with the cycle and the looking back something that needs to be closed and put to an end here due to some heartache and some heartbreak some pain that was caused in a situation Possibly where there was a two of swords situation here. You being strong in this energy here. Starting yourself anew here. And on that beginning, uh, making sure that an energy like this is put to a close here. As I'm seeing this sword here, kind of applying to the middle sword in this three of swords here. As being a sword of truth. And I'm getting this being like the larger energy of these two. So... Seeing the bigger picture in this research, this could be like I'm hearing a uh, vetting, fact checking, just doing a little uh, history, possibly a background check. <laughs> 
on possibly someone that may have um, been a part of a Three of Swords energy. Now, this could be you or this could be someone that you're connecting to. This is more of your sign with the Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, and then Aquarius. With the Three energy... I'm hearing Empress, and I'm associating it with this sword here that's coming from this energy of this page of swords here. So I feel like this new beginning is almost um, almost like this time around, like making sure that what is behind you doesn't repeat itself. And this time around, as you begin this new cycle, there's a focus on a Three of Swords to bring it to a completion. But to also have a foundation that I feel is based on this sort of truth here. Because we want to prevent this energy that I'm getting from the black here. To continue to happen in the way that it has been. And then just seeing the rain here. Like it's not really washing away this uh, black here. It's just dripping. I feel this rain is kind of tied to like tears, but it's not, it's around the heart and it's not on the heart or washing away any of this. So I feel this kind of speaks to the toxicity of this Three of Swords and just what needs to take place in order for this to be prevented again in the future there. And that being this sort of truth here that is um, pretty much split in between this uh, Two of Swords here. So not being an option and starting anew based on this truth that you know within yourself and that worth that you have for yourself. And with that spy energy, I'm getting that, you know, with others watching you, this could be energies that were a part of this three of swords that you are moving away from. Um, feeling this energy of that sword of truth there with that two of swords being faced with this and possibly with this new beginning and you moving on, um, that rain energy coming through here as being those tears. And this being uncovered where there may have been some fogginess about this and this I feel um, being opened up and brought to light. With that research in, uh, energy that came through with the page of swords there. And I feel just you being in your truth and more true to yourself. Getting back to that young hearted energy and loving yourself. Um, I feel that's kind of opened up this vision here of this three of swords and kind of painting the picture for what it truly is. So I'm also seeing this as like, um, almost like a soul or an individual where it's connecting to individuals because of this connection to the swords here where this could be one arm and this could be one arm. And then the sword being that sword of truth when it comes to the chakras where it's going right down the middle, the center. And that being the chakra center location there with all those chakras there. So healing, I feel the center, the core space with that sword of truth there too. And that being uh, more of that ace of swords energy where I'm getting that being a part of that new beginning there too with the page of swords for you. Um, with this being the second card too, that second house energy, Taurus energy coming through there. And I just feel there being an importance here when it comes to stability and that sort of truth, um, being very vital to a new start and not having anything, not settling for less when it comes to moving forward. And that being a part of that page energy where I feel that's a, a brand new experience for you. Getting down to the point in the nitty gritty of everything. And I feel that's kind of coming also to in connection with this quote here from Freddie Prinze. Where it's about finding someone in life that you can share things with. And with that indecision and that toxicity, I feel that, you know... With that Two of Swords, there's been opportunity where the, you have been um, considered to be an option. And that just reflecting on you and your self-worth and value and how you feel about yourself. Realizing that um, you are prime and you are a main choice and you, I mean, you're not even an option. And so any situations where you have been in a Two of Swords, 
you're starting anew here to make sure that doesn't exist anymore for you. The third card. Yes, starting anew to make sure that this does not happen for you. This full card energy here. This is the beginning of manifestation cycle with the zero here. This is being totally balanced within oneself, being true to oneself. That underlying here foundation of that ace of swords there being a part of this full energy. This being based on truth, you being true to you and the sun shining on you and helping you to shine and thrive even more. total completion and coming out of, I feel, um, this energy with the swords, with this being um, the first two cards, I do get, there's a strong ten of swords energy where you ended that cycle. That being um, a part of that three of swords, where with that three and that ten, we have a seven of swords. That's um, got an energy kind of residing there with that as well. So there may have been a seven of swords situation. You freeing yourself from this being a sovereign individual here, coming into a new beginning where you're manifesting and in living your truth and being your truth. You're seeing more of the light and having clarity, being able to live in freedom, happiness, joy, peace, serenity, able to move towards what it is that you really truly want to do in life. And I feel that being a part of that page of swords energy and this younger hearted energy that's coming through here as well. Where this new start, um, also based on you being true to yourself, I feel um, you're moving towards your passions and things that you may have wanted to try before that you really haven't been able to get into because you have been doing the self-work for yourself to make sure that you are starting stable and um, not um, being in a position any longer where you have to worry. This is, you know, having that trust in the universe and knowing that all is well and you're always going to be taken care of and that you are loved, seeing your worth, knowing that you're worthy and that, um, you know, you are the prize. That sun energy coming through very strong here too, where the sun is the ruler of Leo. I do feel that's being a part of the energy that has been coming um, with full moon energy, being around Leo energy very strongly. And then the abundant energy that's coming through with the yellow energy, solar plexus energy too, and that being a part of that self-esteem and that confidence. So coming out of this, healing from this, being based on truth as you're moving forward. And in this, we're coming out as this full energy here at the beginning of a new manifestation cycle. So bringing in new for yourself, New and better. Having done the hard work, seeing the books. And I feel this just kind of speaks to your life overall and all that you studied, all that you've done. Now kind of, I feel with this light, making sense as to why you may have done certain things or been a part of certain situations with certain people at certain times. And it all kind of coming um, with that crown chakra energy to a sense where everything is making sense, a little bit more sense now. And that being a part of that freedom energy there. Loyalty with the dog energy. Brown energy is also Virgo energy. So that could be significant for you. I'm getting that being a part of that hermit energy and that going within, you doing the self-work and the inner work, finding the truth within yourself, accepting you for who you are, knowing that you are going to be loved and appreciate it for exactly who it is that you are and not for what it is that you have. And now, you know, coming into this wisdom here, Everything that you have, I feel, within is now beginning to show here on the outer. Where it just keeps coming. You have a lot to give. This is your energy here with that third house energy. So that kind of speaking to even more of that embracing you and accepting you and loving you. That self-love. And being able to start anew here. Very successfully. Um, with excitement. And coming upon an adventure here after coming out of the Three of Swords, where I am getting that connected to a Seven of Swords, 
overall to a ten of swords bringing us to a new beginning with that ace of swords energy and then the beginning of manifestation fourth card it's the three of wands so this manifestation <laughs> this is manifesting this is manifesting and with this coming under the page of swords it's just confirming that new start and that foundation that is being based off of truth here is what you have manifested waiting for your ships to come in and i feel um you know with this following the fool now that one has embraced i feel that's a part of this uh manifesting here where you know what you have put in and what you put in is exactly what you're going to get out. And so it's not a matter of waiting. I feel that you, um, with that self-worth, know what you rightfully deserve and are able to bring it in, coming into your power here, being able to come into this full state here after going through and ending a major cycle. Wands energy is your polarity energy of Sagittarius. And then um, Leo, Aries, and also a Fucus energy. The three energy, very strong in um, your reading here too as well. You may be seeing three, three. Then that three energy also being your third house energy there too, where I feel that is, again, connecting your Gemini energy there, the twin energy coming through. And that being more of your identity here. And that also being under more Gemini energy here with that sword's energy. So this Ace of Wands energy, um, I feel this has to do with that creativeness that's coming through with you accepting yourself for who you are and now knowing what it is that you want. Um, being sure of that with this left hand energy, that masculine energy, I feel um, embracing, you know, if there's been more feminine energy now being balanced in this. And um I feel really embracing as well the masculine energy that's within you as there may have been more of a focus on Venus energy and then coming into balance and being able to do so through these cycles here, finding that and discovering that truth and now realizing that being a part of your power and being able to manifest. And you've manifested quite a bit here, seeing the ship sailing. You may also like to people watch and go to a particular area where you like to ground and this being a part of manifesting here too. And this bringing a lot of um, serenity, joy, peace, and happiness to you. You may have been doing this or still be doing this for quite some time where you really enjoy doing this. And I feel this is very relaxing and peaceful, very helpful for your manifesting as well. Seeing the water energy there too, that's very significant there too. So you may have strong water in your chart. I feel this is also a part of your manifesting with the intuitiveness that is within you, that three energy also coming through with that Empress energy there too as well. And that being a part of that manifesting and then the Sagittarius energy there with the polarity energy of yourself. And then that free spirited energy um, with the Sagittarius energy and the spirituality, coming more into your spirituality and being able to manifest. And that coming in for you. And the sun is setting. <laughs> So we're just going to keep shifting with the movement of the universe here. So yeah, this Three of Wands coming after Two of Wands where there was some um, contemplating about a new start having to do with the fire energy, this having to do with building, construction, engineering, Something that um, has to do with a career. This may be about a building that has to do with fashion. You may be starting a business and have put in a lot of work. Been through a major cycle here where with partnerships, there may have been some heartache. This doesn't necessarily have to be romantic either. But, you know, embracing that truth, being true to yourself, knowing what you put in and now being in this place um, of manifesting and bringing that in, knowing and being confident about that. Fourth house energy here having to do with love and matters of the home. Also that intuitiveness there coming through there too. So Cancerian energy could be strong for you with that water energy I just picked up on. But that transformative energy of looking this way towards the west here, seeing that in both of these cards here. So I do feel like this has to do with seeds that you have planted and now 
beginning to see the fruits of your labor, knowing what you put in, the work that you put in, the new start that you're you're embarking on here, and the cycles that you're closing, releasing in order to make space and move through what no longer serves you to be able to come more into your power, embracing your true self, that helping you to manifest and be ready for what it is that um, you have set intentions towards. The month of March could be significant too with that three energy and that being the third month. We have the nine of swords. Now this was in reverse. Um, I'm getting that, you know, whether it be in reverse or upright, the energy is still present here where there may be a situation of not getting quite enough sleep over the situation that may have been something for you in the past or currently um, what one is experiencing as one is healing and manifesting here, I feel. Um, but I'm getting, with that energy, I'm getting this being connected to more of that indecision and what you've moved away from being in your truth. Because I'm not getting that necessarily with you here, even with that swords energy there. I do feel that this may be um, others that you're connected to that were a part of this three of swords energy. Where you being in your truth and moving away from what no longer serves you, being able to manifest, I feel with that strength of you and being in your power here, that light being very strong here and reflecting, helping others who have been a part of this energy here to see their truth and being faced with their truth. And right now with this energy of um, the hands covering the face that there may be some resistance with this. Um, as one is waking up in the middle of the night, I feel this is the universe, um, kind of, you know, giving them a little tap and helping them to wake up and to realize these nine of swords that are still here that need to be healed on. So I'm not getting necessarily that this is you. I'm getting this being a connection to you where this may have been something for you in the past, moving through this three of swords and, um, Ending that cycle with that Ten of Swords energy there. And just now, um, just now getting here with that Sword of Truth here. And this Ace of Swords energy aligned with this Nine of Swords. That coming to that Ten, I feel definitely for you. So you already having moved past this. And I feel this now being a reflection energy with who it is you've been connecting to. With this Nine energy speaking to a completion here. So... They're moving through um, a Ten of Swords as well. I feel with the contribution of that Ace of Swords of Truth that you have brought into the situation, being in your truth and being true to yourself. And that as a result, being um, able to renew you and help you come into this full state to be able to manifest. And now being in your power, again, that's reflecting on others to help them to come into more of their power to heal from any lower vibrational energy that may be keeping one stuck in a particular phase or cycle to help them shift away from this to come into betterment. That is um, de uh, destined for them for sure with that Nine of Swords moving to a Ten of Swords, that Ace of Swords being a completion to this Nine of Swords here where again, there's some resistance there. I also feel too that there's an energy here where they may be in the energy of trying to manifest and it not working. You having an eye on this as well and some knowledge or wisdom about this with your intuitiveness and being able to be in your sovereignty and not um, being in a place where I feel in the past one was able to utilize a particular energy. I'm hearing magician energy where with your Gemini energy, that could be reflective towards who you're connecting to here too as well with that Three of Swords. And they could have Gemini energy. And on the flip side of the twin energy, using more of a manipulative, manipulative energy that um, is no longer working because you're in your power. And this putting them in a Nine of Swords here, being a part of that Nine of Swords, I feel one of those swords there, being a part of that truth there. And this is a fifth card placement, five energy, May could be significant, the number five as far as a date. Um, 
and then Leo energy coming through there too. That came through with the sun energy. So this reflective energy, I feel what you're representing, um, you're meeting people along your path who match that particular energy at that time where it's meant for each individual to learn and gain from that experience, whoever is involved there. And then taking that and, um, you know, making that choice on what it is that one wants to do, whether they move forward and progress or continue to stay in a cycle where it's going to repeat itself, but be in a particular way that's going to, I feel, as the cycle continues, increase even more to intensify to help one to shift out of this particular energy. Six card we have is a three of cups. So there is success here I'm getting. But with this following that nine of swords, I am getting um, that one is releasing oneself from an energy where on the flip side of this three of cups, there may have been third party situations. And with that uncovering of the truth and being in one's truth, that being a part of one of these swords here too, in this nine of swords energy here. So you freeing yourself from a three of cups, but then also because of the success that you have created for yourself by being in your truth and being in your power. Overall ending here with this three of cups here where there's celebration and happiness. And um, I feel that with the embarking of something new by being true to you and going towards your creative passions and endeavors, knowing what you put in and the amount of work that you have done now seeing the fruits of your labor, knowing that your ships are coming in and, you know, that the work that you've done is also helping others to move through certain phases and cycles. There's success here where I do feel that you're going to be um, celebrated and appreciated. I'm also getting a six of wands energy here too, but um, I do feel that the energy you're connected to will come through this and celebrate you as well as you're in this full state here. Cups energy is water energy, that water energy there. Um, with the ships in the water there, I feel that being a part of your ships that are coming in, where you're being recognized and appreciated and celebrated for the work that you put in, the hard work that you've put in. Cancer, Scorpio, Afucus, and Pisces energy here. Three energy, very, very strong here, where I feel that three energy is representative of you symbolizing that Gemini energy. Even though you have the symbol of the two there with the Roman numeral two, um, third house energy is your energy. And so I just feel that three energy being very, very significant. Also the balance of the masculine, feminine, and the divine energy, having that connection, moving into your spirituality, owning and accepting yourself for who you are. I feel that Sagittarius energy, the polarity energy of you and that Gemini energy coming through here and you being celebrated and appreciated for that. Wonderful. I love it. All right. So let's get to your clarifier card. And I have the deck here. I'll just go through this one. Shuffle here. So we have the two of stones. Where stones is pinnacles. And so with this energy, um, I'm getting that polarity energy coming through there where part of that three of swords energy was a two of pentacles energy, um, where that was a part of your cycle that one had to work through on the lower end, but then transmuting that energy and making that work where with this energy here in this two of stones, you have turned that into a positive. And um, I feel this is speaking to that groundedness from within yourself. Going to that space, this is that similar card here with the Three of Wands energy where you're able to manifest. You're taking and transmuting energy that is no longer serving you and doing it your way. That I feel that you're following your guidance here. And then in, in doing so, um, this is going to be able to help others here too as well as you're leading by example. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. You can see the two energies of the, the wands here on either side as one has made a selection about what it is they want to move towards. The two trees here and that yellow energy. But being totally covered and protected here in this energy here, this also may be connected to travel, but I also feel too seeing the road here. This kind of speaks to taking the high road. 
when it comes to lower vibrational situations and in doing so that helping you to be even more in your power loving yourself with that green energy but then also Taurus energy coming through there too putting yourself first in your stability when it comes to mental health and also um, your all-around wealth as well and your rightful abundance Two energy I'm getting you just being in very close connection and partnership with yourself loving yourself, getting back to that energy there with the Three of Cups, and in doing so, you're connecting with the divine energy there, being celebrated and appreciated for your hard work. So let's look in the book here with the Two of Stones. So for the Two of Stones, it says here to reflect on potential use of resources. So pretty much what I just said. <laughs> um, you're just, you're taking what it is that you've gained you know, whether it be good or bad, you're utilizing that, following your guidance, really tapping in and listening to your intuition there. I feel that this energy here of that Three of Swords really opened that up for you and helped you to um, clear your chakras and be able to elevate, to receive the knowledge of wisdom that was necessary going through this pain and this heartache, using that energy, though, to be able to bring, I feel, water to dry land and situation here that needed it. And now being able to fill this as you've been filling your own cup and maintaining this balance here where that is contributing to the Three of Wands energy of you manifesting and you leading by example and being celebrated. And you are loved and appreciated. This is great. So Gemini Moons, this was your reading. I hope that these messages were helpful for you and enlightening and empowering. I thank you all so much for being here. And um, until we meet again, take great care. I love you. Peace.